I suppose you stay here. Oh, here we go. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. What's the horn? Bend the knee. To see how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? 
Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish, I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. What is it? Uh, bury your loved ones in Scalitz, talk to Sir Robard, and get a horse, which is <coughs> odd, no? Um, the Robard. Christ be praised. Um, where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them. Only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Um... Because it's a fertile place with full granaries that could feed Sigismund's troops? <laughs> That's not it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. 
He defeated Wenceslas' most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Hmm. My parents died there. I'm a free man, and I don't need to ask anyone's leave for doing what's right. Tell your people to let me out, or I won't be responsible for the consequences. Be glad I'm in a good mood. And won't have it spoiled by some greenhorn. Next time you take that tone with me, it'll be straight in a jail cell with you. Oh. Um, okay. That's not all. They say they can take a man down with an arrow ten fields away. And a dozen men can no match for Right, what we got around here? Trader, baker. I swear to God, that's exactly what I heard from that merchant. Get out of the castle. God be with you. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votover is your man. He's the local dealer. A skinny fellow. I saw him by the granary. He'll buy anything that has any value, and he'd sell you his own granny if he hadn't already sold her long since. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Right, I'm gonna use you. You're the guy who's gonna train me. How do I, um... How do we clean our clothes, I wonder? I wonder if we even can. We've somehow got to find a way out of the castle. best bet for getting out of it is going to be. I can't feel like it, it could be, um, could be the lady. I remember her room is here.
Clear off before I have you thrown out. Or maybe here. In order to pick lock, you must release. There you go. See the diagram? Yep, then you have to turn the lock. There she is. God save. Can I help you with anything? I have to get to Scallet. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? On this. My parents are lying in the mud of skullets at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's yes. terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Hmm. And where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Okay. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. Okay. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look where you're going. All right. Okay, so we need to get the armor. About this way. Good health to you. Um. Do you know where I can buy and sell things? Well. I mean, you serious? What? What the hell are you doing? around in that lock this definitely won't come cheap
All right, that's enough. Maybe you didn't. Uh... That much. Jail it. Oh, we're going to jail. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment. <sighs> Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go? Ah, you can, I'm sorry to say. Now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. Oh! Wow. We're out. Next up, we need a horse. Oh, the hell? Let's give it a shrine. I'm pretty sure we have actually got stuff over here that we can... Oh, we can, can we fast travel, Scarlet? Oh, we can. Oh. Too good to be true. Alright, so hello, is that marker? Oh, it's just dice. Wait, no, it's not. In keep. Jesus Christ be praised. How are the Talmberg folk getting on? Is it peaceful here? Ah, things here are not too bad at all. I want a horse, I want a horse, I want a horse, I'm gonna play him at dice, no I can't, he's not a dice. Bum, 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 bum. Lots of pigs, no horse. Let's see what that is. way over there. Oh, it's that there.
Huntsman. Nicholas. God be with you. Training. Hunting. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Oh, isn't that quite a lot? Sorry, but I'm not going. Yeah, we need more money. Good lord, it rains a lot. You just give it a mess. No. Yes. Hmm. I get it though. I mean, we could Just travel on the road. Maybe we'll come across a horse. Yep. Could be with a bike to eat. Need a horse! 